computer science is um, a discipline that is undergoing a great deal of change. And this requires that as computer science educators that we come up with new ways to uh, teach the new generation of students. ALICE is a system to try to get people's first exposure to learning how to program a computer to be a pleasant one. We have got a system where students can make small 3D animated movies and or 3D video games, and they do that by dragging words in a system where they cannot make a mistake. I came to CMU right at the point where we were starting work on ALICE 2, um, and one of the major goals for that was sort of the drag and drop interface and to kind of get the technical hurdles that people have with programming out of the way. So between that and the fact that you can see what's going on and you actually want to do it in the first place, then we, uh, we found that Alice was really intriguing to a lot of people. We saw that the majority of children, or the majority of adults, are visual learners. And Alice teaches visually, and so you get a chance to watch what your program actually does in a way that no other tool does. We really believe that Alice is one of the few silver bullets we've seen that might be able to turn around the massive decline in CS majors nationwide. I'm excited about what's going to happen with 3.0. I've been fortunate enough to work with the ALICE team. There are some intermediate step steps that we have taken so that my students in my course right now are actually working with the ALICE models in Java code. This is a way in which they are forced to confront semicolons and braces and, and the technical details of a more production-oriented language. And yet they can still do things that's engaging that uh, still feels real to them. Randy Pausch did a sabbatical at EA's main campus here in Redwood City. And one of the things that came out of our many conversations together was the idea of how EA Sims assets could be used in the Alice teaching tool. It's, you know, it's such an intelligent, uh, smart way to promote the study of computer science. What we're trying to do with programming is allow people to figure out how to get machines that they have do the work that they need them to do and allow people to do the things that they're best at, which is creatively solving problems. We take on the real problems here and we take great pride in doing real things and things that matter. And of course, the great thing about Carnegie Mellon is we come to work every day and say that. Let's not do it the way we've always done it. Let's not do it the way everybody else always does it.